first thing I'm doing as always is priming the eye area. I'm using a brush today just to apply that primer and what it's going to do is prep the eye for the shadows that are to come and it's going to help them last all day long and it'll prevent creasing as well. Next then I'm taking an eyeshadow base. Because I'm working with colour again this week I'm using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and because this base is white anything that we apply on top of it is going to really pop and of course that's what we want. If you're going to be wearing colour you want it to be nice and vivid so you can blend this in with your fingers or you can use a brush whichever is easiest for you. I'm going in then with the Sleek Acid palette now and I'm taking this light purple eyeshadow. I've picked this up on a fluffy blending brush and I'm starting out by pressing the eyeshadow over the top of that base. I'm using padding motions until I've covered the entire eyelid and then for the crease area I'm using back and forth sweeping motions just to blend that shadow and then that's our first coating. So I'm picking up some more shadow on my brush now and reapplying the shadow onto the lid. So I'm just using padding motions so that we limit fallout and also by pressing the shadow onto the lid you're going to get a better colour payoff. As you can see just by adding a second light layer the colour is already much more intense. So once I've coated the lid that I'm sweeping up into the crease I'm running my brush back and forward to blend the shadow and then as I've got less and less product on my brush the higher then that I'll raise my brush up towards the brow bone. The aim here is to have the shadow fade to nothing the closer to the brow bone it gets. Then I'm taking a clean blending brush and I'm just wriggling the brush along the edge of the shadow to make sure that there's no harsh edges, everything's nice and soft. And just now it's rinse and repeat. So I have the shape that I want, everything is nice and blended, but it could still be a little bit more intense colour wise. So I'm just adding then another light layer. Once I'm happy then with how that looks, then I'm switching to a smaller bullet shaped brush and I'm blending that shadow down along the lower lash line. If you have a problem with the eyeshadow, the particles going into your eye, before you even apply the shadow, tap off any excess product off your brush and also tap the shadow down along the lower lash line as opposed to sweeping it down there. So I want this look nice and smoky so I'm running a blending brush underneath the eyes to really blur out that shadow. Next then I'm switching to the Sleek Eye Divine Volume 2 palette and I'm taking the purple eyeshadow here. So I picked up a huge amount of the shadow on my brush and I'm applying it to the eye area. I know when I say I like to add the shadow in light layers, sometimes you might think it's a bit time consuming. So I've just applied a thick layer. And the problem here you can see is that because you've got so much product in the eye area, it's going to firstly cover up the work that I've done um, with the first shade. And secondly, it's going to take a long time to try and diffuse the shadow just because there's so much of it. So you'll have to blend over and back and over and back and the shadow can tend to skip. So it's just generally more awkward to work with and it actually ends up more time consuming to apply it this way. So if you do accidentally over apply the shadow, don't worry, it can be fixed. It does take a little bit of time though, so stick with it. It can be helpful then to go in with a clean blending brush, just with absolutely no product on it, but going over the edges because you're then just fading out what's already there. So now I'm taking a smaller bullet shaped brush again and I'm applying that deep purple down along the lower lash line wrapping it up onto the lid just to make sure it all connects up and then once again I'm going over the edges lightly dusting around them just to make sure that they're nice and soft and blended. Now I'm going to start adding some depth to the eye makeup look so I'm taking this navy eyeshadow and a small C shaped brush and I'm patting this down onto the outer third of the eye only. So once I've coated the lid fully on that outer corner then I'm sweeping up into the crease slightly but again just keeping it to the outer corner. And I added this again in a couple of light layers until I was happy with the intensity. Unfortunately something happened to that clip but you know the drill by now. So I'm just pressing that navy shadow now, same one, just down along the lower lash line, pulling downwards then to fade it out slightly and I'm looping it up onto the upper lash line all the while keeping it to the outer portion of the eye. Finally then depth wise I'm adding a black eyeshadow and I'm keeping this mainly around the upper lash line. I'm not taking it too far from there because I want the shadow to be darkest right in at that lash line. And if you've noticed, I'm using the same shadows from last week's tutorial, just in a slightly different way to give us a very different look. So once I've coated the lower lash line with the black eyeshadow as long as the upper lash line, then I'm switching to concealer. So I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer on a flat synthetic C-shaped brush as this works best with liquid and cream products and I'm tapping that down on the inner half of the eyelid. 
So I'm just coating that area. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need to do a perfect cut crease or anything of the sort. You just need to coat that part of the eyelid so that you've got a nice base for the shadow that follows. So now I'm using the Juvia's Place Eyeshadow Palette. It's the Mini Masquerade. And I'm taking the shimmery purple eyeshadow and I'm patting it down on top of the concealer. So you can use this eyeshadow wet or you can use it dry. I like to use a combination of both just to really get those shimmery particles popping. And as always, I like to add a couple of layers of this shadow just until I'm happy with the intensity. So moving on to eyeliner now, I'm taking this black liner from number seven and I'm adding the cold pencil into the waterline. I want this to look nice and kind of smoldery. So I'm doing the top and bottom waterline. Then I decided I'd add a sweep with that purple eyeshadow, the shimmery one, just on the inner part of the lower lash line to kind of tie the look together. Next then I added a pair of lashes and now I'm taking this shimmery shade here and I'm using a little bullet shaped brush to apply that around the tear duct of the eye to add a nice pop to that area. Then I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and I'm using this to coat my bottom lashes as well as the top ones. I want to really blend my own lashes in with the false ones so I'm adding a few coats up there. For a finishing touch then I decided to go with some of this Urban Decay glitter and add a lick of that over the purple eyeshadow and around the tear duct too and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, I hope you found it helpful and easy to follow, hope you're all staying safe and keeping well and I'll chat to you soon.